Hit these street lights, hit the window pane It's been a while since I've been okay I barely smile, but I don't complain Please hit me out when I feel insane I'm saying that none of y'all are good enough to hit a switch. Battle one time a year and come in and start knocking, you know, beating up on dudes that are doing it every month. I, only the fans believe that shit. They're not good enough. There's no battle rapper good enough to do that. To, to battle once every other year or once every other 16 months and still be able to produce the level of bars and... and, and and product that they're doing when they're battling eight times a year. I'm not wrong when I say that. I stand on that, I support it, and I, and I would debate it. How, how, how ARP say this is a beautiful segue, so who you got between Murder Book and Big K? Um, you know. <laughs> Based on everything you just said. <laughs> <laughs> I walked I, him in that one. I, I think that- I walked him in that one. I think that K got a real shot, yeah. a super real shot. Especially in the blue room, right? In the blue room, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and that's another thing too. Like, I got experience you, you know, just to, frequent that just area. to assume you're gonna we because RBE mm -hmm. we perform in front of Atlanta crowds six seven times a year. Yeah, in front of Atlanta, that's what we do. So yeah. they're accustomed to us. It's almost like um, URL battling in LA. Or Houston, I think they go there a lot. Yeah, uh, LA, or or yeah. King of the Dot doing an event in Toronto. Toronto yeah. they're, so they're more accustomed to so, what yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not so sure. Now, what I will say is I saw Clips perform in front of an Atlanta crowd twice. Yeah, I saw him perform in front of... Matt Hoffa. Well, I didn't even count that. But actually, I, but you know what? I didn't he think... Battled, I think he battled Farrah as well. I, I, amazing versus Farrah. I thought he was shaky versus Math. And I thought he was shaky versus Big K. Beautiful, beautiful performance versus Farrah. I was there. I saw that one live. Okay. Um, so he got some. He got some shit on RB. Okay. Sure, sure, he's actually the woes that they act like he has. He really has never done that to RBA. That's what I'm saying. So you, you might get a serious. So the m -m 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 mumble and the, the, the stuttering when he's yeah. choking and going into freestyle, he doesn't really do that a lot on RBA. Mm -hmm. Looks like he writes his shit. So um, and I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that. That's why the rounds are longer. That's why there's more punches in the Oh, rounds. so you said the rounds are... You for know, sure, so for sure. So can't complain with the situation. For sure. The, the round times is three, three that's thirty. That's, that's Mook and Big K. I don't... Um, I, I actually... Oh, y'all just... I don't know. Y'all just... I don't know. I, I, might I don't know, I just go. That's well, what, I'm, gonna, that's I'm, 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 I'm coming to rap. Mm -hmm. if, 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 if My job isn't to time me. Yeah, so somebody yeah. that's somebody else's job. Yeah. So you talk to that person. Yeah. I'm going to rap until I'm done. Yeah. And or get time. <laughs> so that's how I'm, that's how I'm carrying it. So yeah. And then they look bad when they cut you off, yo. Like, I, I, please don't, because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be whamming in there. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I, you know, I, bro, I, bro, your eyebrows have stayed here the entire time. Clips, pants. We got good cameras here. I'm gonna zoom in on his face. His eyebrows have stayed up here. And <laughs> Philly, that means what's up. That literally means <laughs> Or this <laughs> tight ass hat pulling him up. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, that's what yeah, this was what's, what's up. Uh -huh. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, I mean, you gotta understand, man. 11 years, 70 battles, and you just get in your run, yeah. right? I mean, it started about three years ago, but but still, just to be in the, the midst of a run when it could have been what it was. Mm -hmm. Rosenberg's just a, another battle rapper. Uh, you know, I value that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I value that. And I'm not ignorant to the fact that, you know, Clips is a step up from what I've been doing. You know what I mean? But I'm comfortable in saying that I deserve to be here. Mm -hmm. So if I deserve to be here, you know, I got to make sure I produce in these in these particular situations. And, and I'm accustomed to doing it, just answering the bell, uh, winning in the underdog role, making somebody look a little stupid, like, and making and making people who look a certain way look different when they're across from me because I battle differently. Yeah. That's something my opponents haven't grasped yet. Like, why, why does Rose have any success against dudes we think of because I battle differently? Right, the battle. It's a it's a little bit more personal. It's a little it's, bit more. It's, it's little it bit feels more, physical. Take this walk with it me. It feels physical. It's, it's While like you that. up there trying to draw up a master, a, like a, a, a algebra scheme, I'm one two, and this shit is digestible, yeah. and, and it's it's easy on the mind. They don't have to think about it, and then it's relatable. I say some shit that anybody in any city in America can relate to. Mm -hmm. Damn, uh, what I told him, something, something, I rock shit. I'm good in every hood, like them hot chips. The simple shit right there. But everybody in every hood like hot chips is just what it is, right? So it's like, you know, I know I'm good at that. Uh, I hope Clips does. Okay, okay. Hope shout out to Clips, shout out to Clips. Um, Murder Mook versus Big K. I 
feel like that's a fire battle with everything that's at stake for the most part. Sure. Just, I think Big K does not want to lose. Murder Mook, I feel like he's a situation where his name is so high, he can't lose. I feel it's like, a spectacle if he loses. I mean, Mook is talking shit like Big K's a PG nigga to me and the ignorance and the ego. You know, as great as Mook is, I hope that he's honed in on what Big K is and what he's really capable of. But Mook's of. making it exciting, though. Obviously, right. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, so, and we may disagree with what he's saying, but sure. I love what he's saying. Me too. Me I too. love it. I, I hope he cares as much as it yeah. seems he doesn't. Yeah. You know what I'm mean, saying? Because, because end of the day, right? You can say I don't care about this opponent, but do you care about your name? Sure. So come down to it. Right. You care about your name. The same thing. Your name is on the Same thing. Me and Clips got going on. Yeah. Right. My name's on the line. And I'm, I'm don't battle frequently. So I'm battling like, myself. That we are. Yeah. The cliche is right, but they are, they are true. They are true. So you know, it's 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 for a great matchup. Right. I think it will and. And, and King, King Los is ridiculous, also. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think I think uh, King Los has got an uphill battle for him, but I also think King Los in a small crowd could be spooky. And this is this is what I want to be clear. I, we did a champion. I didn't drop it yet. This is why you know it's, shit is behind. But um, when you drop it, yet, I want to make it clear what I'm saying in terms of King Los and Ill Will. If Ill Will just does Ill Will, Jack of all trades, good at this, good at that. He can freestyle, he can do this, he can rap with you. I got Ill Will. Me too. Understand? Yeah. But I think. At some point in time, you want to be more challenged. So the, if I'm ill will, right, and I just want to be, I want to have fun with my, my career, you know, uh, have a challenge, I'm going to rap with him. Yeah. If he does that, I believe I would pick the upset of King Lose to win. If if, if, he, if you go that route. If you go that route. You know, I if think. If you go down to his realm and his playing field, because their brother can rap. Yeah. He can rap. For sure. The fluidity, so, his patterns, his rhyme, his rhyming is, is is a one. So the cool thing about Ill Will is he's got something crazy on the table. He's he's kind of got to answer the bell. Um, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He had a situation on the table about a year ago, and then yeah. he, he ran into a certain somebody and, and, and put the whole situation on ice. You know um, who that person is? I'm, I heard of him. Okay. Um, I heard of him. And, uh, I think I know him too. <laughs> and, and it, it, but it really, it really paused yeah. some plans and yeah. ideas that we were going to do that was supposed to happen. And it really shifted the, the, the trajectory of the company for the rest of 2022. You no, know, you know, no matter how you want to explain it, that's yeah. what happened. I, and, I can see it. I can see it in my head. And, um, you know, now, you know, you do the 40 bars and then, um, his last battle versus, um, Hollow. Hollow, and it's just been a slow build up getting, uh, uh, not even a slow build up, it's been a build up getting ill will back to being one of the best in the game, which we all are accustomed to seeing. Oh, him yeah. At, and, and it looks like from his last two battles, he's, good. he's focused again. Yeah. Uh, he's, I feel like he's one more battle away from some big plans that the company has, and to drop the ball could put that on ice again, and I don't think he's willing to risk that. Ill's too, Will's too, Will's too good. So ill Will's going to go up in there and do ill will. I think ill will's Basically. going to. Be in rare form, and I, I just I struggle seeing Los having a lot of success with that guy. Yeah, okay. Nothing against him. Shout out to King Los. Yeah, if uh, it was you know you put a beat on and put him in a booth, Los gonna walk out. Yeah, yeah. Put him in a blue room, put some stakes on it. Oh, hold on, hold on. So let me ask you this right now: What's the difference of the blue room? It's a vibe. What's the difference? Well, one thing I'm froze, so I just I've, I've, I've been there too. By the way, I've been there too. I resonate with it, but I think that um. I've never seen a small room. Marketing A1, by the way. Go ahead, I've go. never seen a small room yeah. be able to be packed, like so shoulder to shoulder, that it becomes a big room. And then, you know, the fans are in arm's length. Like, it's oh, yeah, it's yeah, rappers, yeah, cameras. Yeah, yeah. Like, if I want to high five a fan, I can. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's almost like a... It's almost like a fucking arena just built for RBE battling. You know what I mean? And then you get in there in that light setting. You feel like, oh, shit, I'm in the cage now. Like, it, we in here now. And it ain't, you can't get out without rumbling. You know what I mean? And that, you know, I don't know. The light could have been fucking yellow. I don't know. But for some reason, the blue room, it just creates a vibe and an atmosphere that's so RBE. Okay, uh, okay. it's, it's really what it is. Speaking of the blue room, you, you said uh, you was battling. Then you turned to ARP and said, listen, I, I do this, I do this. I deserve Cassidy. Next, yeah. Next fight. Yeah. Do you feel like clips is a is a satisfying plate to like kind of answer what you were saying? Yeah. You know, or are you gonna double up and say I deserve more than clips, nigga? Well, I got clips. <laughs> I got clips for nigga. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm I'm a big show and tell guy. Okay. Right. And ARP did a blog about four months ago where he was. I don't even know if people watched it, 
But he said that RBE was moving into a more, more of a direction to win your battles on the next card. He wasn't really divide and he wasn't really getting and caught up and you know grabbing dudes who had shitty performances and giving them big names right next. Like now, let's focus on who's actually yeah. carrying the torch right now. Um, you know, what was the question again? Because I was I was segueing that. Into uh, it's pretty much are you satisfied? Because you, you could no. Be oh yeah. So so basically it's on the right path to what you want to do. Well, I think again, show and tell. So let's see what happens with clips. You can't mm -hmm. go in there and get dogged by clips talking about you want holla. So I understand that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I know I gotta kinda take care of clips because the type of names that I'm I got on this list over here, you know, it, it, you you gotta you gotta make sure you perform at a high level to be able to ask for them dudes. So I do understand that. And uh, you gotta answer the bell and be able to score in the fourth quarter. And that's what I do, man. Give me the ball, move out the way, we need a bucket, I go get us one. So, so it's basically, you know what I'm saying, he's letting your performance make the match Clips is formidable. I told him I needed a name, he gave me clips. I mean, it's really cut and dry. And mm -hmm. it really answers the question. I mean, look at it. A lot of dudes would take the clips battle over Cassidy. Now, me, I'll take Cassidy over clips. But clips will work. Yeah, clips will work. work. <laughs> clips will do for now. Yeah. Clips will work. They do for now. They do for now. Oh. You know, but, I, but I'm, not, uh, I'm not throwing a celebration party. I earned it. It's something I deserve. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like like we took Jag. Consistency. We took Jag. Like we called it. We got offered Jag, Divide and Conquer one. Yeah. We said no, he got show off. Right? Did it had a good had a hell of a battle with show off. Right? I think they yeah. called it one of the battles of the year last year or some shit like that. Or or whatever. They were they were giving a lot of flowers for how that battle. battle. Okay, cool. Battle. Right. So right after that, we called, yo, you know what? Y'all got a y'all got divide and conquer two or something like that coming up or, or some some other shit coming up. Oh, we got divide and conquer coming up. All right, you know what? We'll take Jag now. Just be show off. I beat the shit out of show off, so it just kind of makes sense. Boom. So let's. But I knew I was. I knew I had clips coming up. But I definitely wanted to get a tune up fight, and I thought that Jag, Ooh, who's a great tune up fight. What? I'm just gonna let you talk. 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 Yeah. It's, 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 I, I thought Jag, yeah. who's a fire competitor, uh, brings a lot of energy. To, to battle rap, to his man, you know, all aggressive. Too, I thought rapping. it was a great tune up opportunity to get ready for clips because no matter if I think Jag is fire or not, he not clips. Yeah. So, you know, that's what that was. And I felt like it, you know, I hadn't battled like that in like 10 months, had an RBE battle in 10 months. So, you know, it was perfect. Let me ask you about one last battle on this card. And we got to actually have a full prediction with Champion Group uh, dropping as well. Um, but Chef Traz and Show Off. What's your thoughts on that? With everything considered, I think that's an even battle. I think that's an even battle. If you made me edge it to somebody, I would say off of Chef Trey's rebuttal ability uh, okay. in live, being able to do it on the fly like that, I, I would lean towards Chef. But I mean, I don't think nobody's gonna be surprised if Show Off on that battle. That's a pretty, uh, pretty, pretty back and forth matchup. And Show Off's been consistent recently too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he upped his. Uh, his battle rap mentality, he's been doing good, so I'm curious to see what happens in that battle. Um I I I when I when I battle certain when I when I you know, <laughs> like, once like, I re reconfigure when, you yeah, with like when certain kind of ass whooping to you. Oh and my God. for a whole year motherfuckers was playing with show off name. They were well, pulverized and, and he this and he that. It and was, was making it was. a joke of it. So kudos to show because cer certain dudes crumble under that pressure mm -hmm. of having to get the respect back on your name. And I think he's done a great job at that. So, you know, a good shout out to show. Uh, shout out to Coach Corleone and Payne. So That's I a good matchup. Yeah, Payne had, again, I'm, I'm, I got to give him his kudos, his flowers. I think Coach had a fire battle as well. He did. Versus I, I think uh, Payne probably had one of the best uh, bars of the whole weekend. Yeah, it was yeah, a dirty bar. I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. That, that, was, that was different. That <laughs> was different. Like the nigga that shot you. Like the nigga that shot. Get easy, fuck out of here. Shit like that make you react like you was in the building, bro. I'm telling you, it's like <laughs> you feel the energy at the end of shit like that. Uh, we can move on though. Um, we're still on RBE. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you don't really gotta say too much. You know what I mean? Cause the way you talk, you say we. It's from your team. It's when the company you say we, so you, you know the plans. But um, as a fan, I, I just gotta see if certain cards can get maxed out when you buy st when you try to buy things. You know what I'm saying? So um, if that was in the air, I know you gotta stay tuned on what you got in front of you. But if, if the max was out, what's that looking like? 
Hit these street lights, hit the window pane It's been a while since I've been okay I barely smile, but I don't complain Please hear me out when I feel insane